<laughs> and as <laughs> I'm literally dying of sickness. Okay. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Juliana, but you guys call me Juju in today's video. It is Vlogmas Day 3, and I am starting a brand new series called Reddit on Reddit. So hopefully you do enjoy it. As you can hear, sort of, kind of, in my voice, I'm still sick, but what you can't tell is that I have a throbbing headache, and I feel like I'm going to explode and die. So in today's episode of Reddit on Reddit, I'm going to be reading what is the most f***ed up or embarrassing Christmas gift you have ever received. I have this thread sorted by the best comments come first so i'm pretty excited hopefully the good ones are coming first and we get some juicy little tea drama i had mentioned to my uncle one year that i wish i could grow a beard like his come christmas time my uncle hands me a present that he got me i unwrapped it and what do you know it's his beard in a ziploc bag honestly that's funny but like that's not even that funny like i'm trying to laugh so hard that i pee myself a little bit so like until i see one of those we're not stopping a gift card to a lingerie store for my grandma the fucked up part wasn't the gift itself but the fact she made my poor 19 year old older brother go in and buy it as he told it the conversation went something like this cashier shopping for your girlfriend brother no my sister or my grandma that is so awkward. See, I need more stuff like this. That's funny. My parents are separated, and when I was younger, I really wanted a Nintendo 64. Both my mom and my dad asked what I wanted, and I told them, along with my grandparents. Come Christmas morning, I was delighted to find a Nintendo 64 beneath the tree. Lo and behold, I go to my grandparents' house later that day and open one last present under the tree. A Nintendo 64, Atomic Purple Controller 2. My mom hadn't been talking a lot with my grandparents at the time, and the miscommunication about who was getting me what was pretty obvious based on the look people were giving each other. The next day, my mom drops me off at my dad. They didn't get along at the time, and jokingly says, I don't suppose you got him a Nintendo 64 too? And my dad's eyebrows shut up about a foot. Donkey Kong edition. To this day, I still have all three. I wish that was like a good story, because like I honestly feel like I just wasted my time reading that, so. Pink panties for my crazy grandma. Edit. Yep, I'm a guy. It was back when I was 12. That awkward middle school age. I'm not even going to say anything because I'm not trying to get arrested or like offend 20 bajillion people in the world, but what awkward middle school phase. I'm confused. My first Christmas with my wife's family. They have Dirty Santa. Her dad takes it seriously and gets adult themed presents, but he isn't the only one. I just hoped to pick his gift bag. It's a dildo and a with in the title. It got stolen from me later, but then I showed them all by sealing it. It sits on my nightstand now, seven years later, and I still poke my wife with it in the butt and ask her if she wants to try her dad's d from time to time. Ew, that is so disgusting. Oh my god. That is disgusting. Okay, could you just imagine that though? Like, you go into whatever store you go into to buy those things, right? Like Spencer's or something. And then all of a sudden, the cashier's talking to you and you're like, and they're like, Oh, you're buying this for someone? And you're like, My children. That is so weird. Three years ago, I got a shake weight for Christmas. When I opened it, my dad laughed and yelled, It's for practice when you get bored in the dorms. While making a jack off job gesture in front of my grandparents. And now you have the arms of a god. Oh my god, that's so weird. Where, who, like, I don't know, man. These th these families, I, I don't even know what to say. I got a thong for my step-grandpa when I was in third grade. Edit, I'm a female, and he was a pedophile. That's terrible, but, like, at the same time, like, why would your parents let you near this man? My brother, who always gives hilarious gifts, got my wife and I a clapper one year, which is pretty funny on its own. We put it in our bedroom, thinking it would be super convenient to turn the lights off after watching TV for a bit without getting out of bed. It turns out the clapper works with all kinds of noises, so sex would turn our bedroom into a disco. So I'm not gonna lie, halfway through reading this, I didn't know what a clapper was, but then I kind of caught on, and now it's just a funny joke. So, someone buy me a clapper. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Honestly, though, like, I'm seriously just kidding. Like, please, stop. I'm, like, literally just kidding. A giant f***ing tub of Vaseline. It was hilarious, but my friends are assholes. I'd say that was a pretty convenient gift then. If you don't get the joke, you're definitely under the age of, like, 
13 or 14. But yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end off the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And subscribe if you're new because it would mean a lot to me, you know, trying to reach some new subscriber milestones. But yeah, like I said before, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It means the world to me. But yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Adios, muchachos. See the home no more, so from my life deleted her She told me I completed her, remembered when I greeted her Evil how she did me like a villain, I defeated her